Hey Tubers, Eddie of Squawks here coming to you with take two of the same video. Also, this is Crouch. See? This is Crouch. There's a game called Kona, I have no idea what it is, I have no idea what it's about. I've only seen Here's the Amazing HD play this game. And here we have a window. Okay. This is. So this game takes place in Canada, or Canada. It's in Quebec, and it's inexhaustible resources. Hmm. You guys can read that if you really want to. I'm surprised I don't have his voice acting. Oh, that's probably not good. Hold on. Just... Oh. Oh. I think I can get in my truck at this point because I've already... Hamilton done. never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Oh. Let's go get into the truck. This looks like more Chevrolet truck. Alright, let's hold it. Uh, let me adjust some settings here. Uh, half rails. Disabled. Shut. I mean, crap, I mean, shut. Be the end of that. Oh, oh no, it's still there. I turn down B section. YouTube will only take it at 30 frames. It's really looking good in running right now. That's better. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. Oh my god, did you see that? Wait, what's this? Detail. Boat to the gas pedal? The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones aided him enough to go on about scheming against him. was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow, which didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping its first load of the year. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people.
Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Let's turn this down to low. Very low. Let's make it run well for a nice and lock it for a second here. Oh, it's a shuffle. Oh, no, that's a, that's a shuffle rat. Okay, that's a shuffle rat truck. Must be about a 1949 or 1950, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So is that? An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? long-standing and faithful ally, had seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away.
Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Is he through? He's above us. Right above us. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Gilles Lachance, Carl recollected, was the general store's manager. Should Hamilton not be available, he was the man to talk to. Or what if Hamilton had moved up his appointment with his physician? The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Finding a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, Car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Don't know if any of that be that. Need that. Need that. I don't know, those parts that need to be subjugated. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Hmm, this is actually kind of fun. 
Whatever happened here, things got pretty rough, and not a trace of Hamilton. I feel like I'm missing something here. Really? Oh. Oh, these open all the way.
The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Everyone knew the stories of Donalda and Alexis, and everyone hated Serafin Poudrier just the same. Even at the edge of the world, this was no exception. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought.
Repairs, big wheels. This is an idiot, so what else do you expect? At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Well, this is going on for about 27 minutes. I am going to go ahead and wrap this up here and probably go to bed at this. Now it's 3.30 in the morning, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, thanks for watching, guys.